or record your face. So whatever we say will be recorded, but it won't. I won't get no pictures. If you're running for the United States Senate, that means that there's a possibility that we could turn it around. Yes, it is, Jimmy. Because, like I say, I'm for our rights and our freedom. This is the United States of America. This belongs to us. Our Second Amendment right gives us the right to bear arms. Plus, if the government is not the government for the United States, we have the right to go overthrow them, remove them from office, and put people in the office that is a, is a government for the United States. The state's not against us. And they are against us. They want to destroy us. Man, do you realize you can go to jail by talking about overthrowing the current government that's in power right now? That's, our, that's my constitutional rights. There's uh, nothing in the Constitution that says where you have the right to overthrow. Yes, it is. We have the right to buy every one of them up there. It takes two-thirds majority votes. You can buy any of them up there. I asked them around here, let's go up, go fire Obama. I said, you know, he's committed treason. He just throws secrets about Guantanamo, uh, Guantanamo Bay right. at that time at war. That's, that's treason. Right. Comes by death in front of a fire court. Right. I called the Pentagon and left them a message on their answering machine. Exactly what I just told you. And I never got a phone call. Nobody never showed up. Or nothing. I mean, I'm tired of it. Like I say, I stand up for our rights and our freedom. There's no doubt. There are certain spots, hot spots, New York, L.A., I think down in Louisiana, uh, it's really seeking, this uh, coronavirus right now is really seeking habit real bad on a lot of our uh, uh, senior citizens, uh, old folks' homes. Uh, there's no doubt, but to shut the whole thing down? Right. Well, Obama sent China $330 million to do a research on health care, and this is what they come up with, and they released it. You know. Do you go along with global health care? Do, do you, global health care, do you think everybody should have insurance? Like Canada and France and other places? Uh, global health care. I feel the government should pay nobody no insurance itself. It's the elderly and our best. <coughs> I mean, we are the government. We're the ones paying for the ones that's not paying. You know, Jimmy, you worked all your life. I've worked all my life. I'll be 59 in July. I've just turned I 59. I was five years old. I just turned five. I just turned 59. And You're making less money now? Yes, I'm making less money. I work for myself. And I got to work, but it's at a standstill right now. Why? Because of the coronavirus? Well, the way you... The, the, all the businesses are where I go get material and all they're changing where you can actually go inside the building now and do around but when you can't go to a door and they come out and you tell them what you want and you get what you want you've got to I've got to go in the lumber shed and right. I've got to go out there and yard right. with them and, right and they don't want no uh, you got to keep that maintain that distancing see that's what they was talking about this morning on the news you know you take a nurse a nurse can't practice social distancing because they got to touch the patient. They got to put a thermometer in their mouth. They got to give them a wash, uh, a bed bed wash. They got to roll them over. They got to handle the patient. There ain't no way of social distancing yourself whenever you're a nurse or a doctor. Is there? No, it's not. That's just like I saw a church today. They was letting out. They had church. And I went by and applauded them. And was it around here? No, I was over Troy and I said, if this is not ready, hello, people. You've opened your eyes up. You know, why did we not shut the United States down when a man got pneumonia or double pneumonia? <clears throat> well, I mean, no, it's the same difference. I know this little creature, whatever they say, it hooks onto your lungs and creates mucus down in your lungs, you get double pneumonia. Right. Well... I mean, we've got a cure for it, malaria disease uh, pill. 
it cures it. It's not been proven to cure it. We've got it. It's already been proven. Really? Yes, sir. Uh, there was a big fat man in Florida dying, fishing a die, and the doctor said, I'm going to give you this. He gave it to him, went to him the next day, and the man's sitting up in bed feeling better than he's ever felt. There's no doubt some of this stuff is real. A lot of it's real. Pertaining to the virus. It's real. It's real. I know the virus is real, but all of this is, is, is because it's election year. Every bit of it is because it's election year. Think so? I can't, even, I can't even have a fundraiser because of all of this. You know, I say, but I'm just to cover this whole state because I want to win. You know, you're going to put yourself in the same position as Billy Sanderson? United States Senate. I'm going to Washington, D.C. I'm not going to Nashville. Oh, you're not? No, I'm going to Washington, D.C. Lamar Alexander's retired. Yes, sir, Jim. I've been talking about it for the last three years. Me and my brother. Yeah, I know. When, 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 when did you run for senator? And then when it come up, I went and got my papers. I had to have 25. I got 62. And I turned them back in, and I'm on the ballot. I'm an independent. Right. I say, I represent well, I wish you the best of luck, Eric. Thank you. I, I represent the citizens of Tennessee. Right. That's what I'm for. If right. If you don't like the job I'm doing, you, you can fire me. That's your right. Right. Two thirds of the majority of the right. By electing somebody else to take your place. Right. Now, what happened to Mr. Sanderson? Do you know? Did he get f booted out or no, did he get fired or did he resign or what happened on that deal? He resigned. Oh, he did? I don't know why. But he, he quit. Resigned. He quit. They talked. His sister's husband got cancer or something, and you know he had to, you know, help her. I it, see. You know, that's all I know. That's all I know. I gotta get all this water out of the yard. What's going on here? It's always been low, and it, and it holds water. We got that rain this morning, and it filled back up with water. Do you see where all those tornadoes was hitting down south again, like it did last weekend? Yes, sir. Do you believe in global warming? They don't understand that mature oak tree back there in the backyard puts out one million gallons of water a day in the atmosphere to create humidity and rain. That's straight from the National Geographic. And, I mean, they have cut every fence row, every tree. Anytime they buy a farm, they mutilate the trees. Well, look what they've done to the Amazons last year. Caught it all, all on fire. And they don't understand the Amazon comes right through here. We're part of the Amazon rainforest. If I'd have been South America is part of our weather system. No, the rainforest comes through here. What they do, do the rainforest down in South America is part of our weather system. Yes, sir. Man. No, it's not. It is, Juby. The only thing comes from down there is them daggum little bitty birds. Them, uh, what do you call them birds? Them birds that just stay in one spot. I don't know. Well, they migrate from down there. If I'd have been them, them natives over there, where they come and started cutting them trees, and they had blow darts. I would have blow darted every one of them that come in there with a chainsaw or caterpillar because that was their world. You know, right. this is our world. Don't go destroy somebody else's world. That's what you're doing. Well, did you I see? Did you Earth. did you see what happened in Australia last year with all them fires? Oh no, I don't watch TV. It was bad, man. It 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 killed lots of kangaroos and lots of wildlife. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of acres burnt. They couldn't put it out until finally a uh, bad cloud come up through there and they finally put it out. But, man, it was horrible. But, yeah, the, the world is warming up every day. It's getting warmer and warmer. Yes, it is. The seasons have changed. Yeah, the seasons have changed. Did we even get a snow this year? Not to amount to anything. Not to amount That's exactly right. I think we got two dusty. Uh-huh. One covered the front yard. Just barely covered it. Yeah. You know. And that was it. Oh, yeah. So it's getting warmer and warmer every year. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And like you're doing right now, doing yard work, if you don't do it early in the spring or late in the fall, it gets so hot in the summertime. You can't even get out here and early work in the summertime. No, no more. That's when I roof. <laughs> that's when I love to roof. It is. It's hot. Really? Yes, sir. The hotter, the better. Why is that? 
nail on this stuff. You ain't got to worry about it. It's going to stick, ain't it? Right you could almost you could almost stick it to the throw it and hit the wall and let it stick when it gets that hot. Yeah, well I got them laid out and getting to them, they're sticking together. They're already already getting warm enough. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Eric, I just seen you out here. I thought I'd holler at you, man. I mean I ain't never seen stuff getting so out of whack the way that it is right now. got in Congress is right there with them. That's why everything's going on. Well, they have proven, I heard it on the news, that this wasn't created accidentally. It was created in a lab, number one. Number two, uh, the World Health uh, thing that's in control of all, all the nations uh, dropped the ball and not letting people know the severity of the disease and not letting people know that it could be transferred from one person to another. Okay. Also, the president over there in China, I don't know what his name is, but he didn't stop international traffic from either going out or coming in for like three weeks. Then Trump finally figured out we need to stop the international traffic. Then we had another link Pertaining to CDC, which their headquarters is in Atlanta, okay, disease control, that they had tainted testing to the point that that killed another two or three weeks. So it really put us in behind the eight ball. You got like six weeks there that is dormant, and that's the time that we could have been preparing for all this, and now we got people dropping like flies. But I'm like you. There are certain spots that need to be opened up and certain spots that still need to be monitored. And we've never had a hot spot here, have we, in Kitten? Hey, girl. Bye, girl. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt. Oh. It ain't never, I mean, what, as far as I know, there ain't nobody that's, that's got the disease here in Kitten, is it? No. Zero. Very few in O'Brien County, like four or five, right? Here's, right? Here's my theory on this disease, which I'm not even worried about. It's no different. Well, it's affecting our economy. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to tell you what, what I'm thinking here. I mean, you know, if you get pneumonia or if both lungs double pneumonia, the country's never shut down. I know it's a little stronger than that, but it's the same thing. Okay. When you love God and you love Jesus and you believe in God and you believe in Jesus, right? you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going to get no disease. Because he's got our card punched when we're going to leave this earth. Right. And the day he reaches and pulls our card, we're gone. Regardless whether it comes in the form of a, of a disease or a heart attack or a stroke or a just bad die. accident or whatever. Right. Or just plum die. Or just old age. Just dying of natural causes. Well, I kind of believe I kind of believe that I, I do believe that I, I ain't no I, I it's not no me kind of believing that I do believe that but at the same time he gives us enough sense to know not to walk off into the mouth of the volcano because if you walk off into the mouth of the volcano guess what's going to happen to you you're going to die right but I'm not going to get around I know the people I get around and you're not going to purposely Take the coronavirus and rub it all in your mouth and rub it all in your nose and, and put it all in your pillowcase. I hear you. I told him I had corona and Lyme disease. And I don't even drink. I said, ain't corona what you put the Lyme in? <laughs> you crazy, Eric. Uh, but I've always liked you, man. Oh, hell, I'm still me, but I'm still me. Who did you graduate with whenever you graduated? Did you graduate with Mr. Sanders, or was he a little older than you? Oh, uh, he's two years older than I am. Is he? I graduated in 79. I just had my 40-year reunion November 2nd out here to Wyoming. Did you? Yes, I did. Hell, I got karaoke there. I sung for him. Ain't none of my classmates ever heard me sing. Huh? Yeah, oh, and I did. I sung. Was there a lot of them in there? About half? 37 of us. Really? That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, uh, the whole class. I mean, was the whole class, about 60? 
so that was good then. You had like 70. Even a couple that went to school with us, but right before graduation left. Right. We invite them every time. Right. Is that the reason why I don't fit into society, Eric, is because I never did graduate? I ain't got nothing to do with you. Never did get my GED? I ain't got nothing to do with you. Well, why, why won't I fit in? Because it's Kenneth. Really? You know Kenneth. You know Kenneth just a little bit. Well, they put the hurting on me back in 1983 whenever my father attacked me and I tried to get some help and they branded me towards saying that I was psychologically, emotionally, chemically imbalanced. They done that right here in Kenton, Tennessee. Well, they should, they should Damian Cross, Don, you remember Don Curry? Don Curry, who was the who was the head chief at that time? Um, uh, what was his name? Oh, Shorty. Wasn't Shorty? Shorty's always worked up here in Union City, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. You remember Paul Hughes, the guy that had the one eye? He was one of them in that conspiracy towards trying to mark me for life. <laughs> what they should have done was put handcuffs on my dad, because you know my dad, James, um, and got him for attempted murder and taking me back to Martin and seeing what was going on with my blood, if anything was going on with my blood. But because I was talking about the Antichrist and the end time events pertaining to the mark of the beast, they thought I was whacked, man. They thought I was whacked and I needed to go get cycle. I needed to go get, get institutionalized. And the person that should have been institutionalized should have been my father. Actually, he should have been jailed. He, he didn't just need to be institutionalized. He needed to be jailed for that. Do you realize how hard it is to interpret Nostradamus's quatrains? You can almost make anything out of out of one of his. You can almost flip it around and make it sound this way or that way. And you know the reason why he done that was because back in that era, in the Dark Ages, if he would have got caught putting all that stuff out, they would have hung him, son. They would have hung him by the highest tree because it would have been considered at that time as black magic kind of like the uh where they up there in pennsylvania you know what i'm talking about was it the blair witch something like that where they thought that they was all a bunch of witches just because they they acted a little different and they had a different way of thinking <laughs> see i think that's one of our downfalls over here in america is that there's two much superstition. Hello. You still got people that believe in black cats that still put X's on their windshields driving down the road. You still got people that refuses to go up underneath the ladder. You still got people that think if somebody throws them a bow and they catch it, they're going to be the next one in line towards getting married. Come on, I could go. I could go on and on and on towards how superstitious that these Americans are. I get tickled. I get tickled. I said, well, I'm going to get you to laugh. And in the air, I go, and I laugh. I go, I've got ladders up working on how I'm in and under on so many times. I mean. You don't never think about it? No, no, but I do the cat on purpose. I mean, I do. I get tickled. Every time a black one runs, I laugh, and I do. I'll put it in the air. Guess how many black cats I got? Two. <laughs> I've done it purposely in the neighborhood because of the way the Wiccans attacked me over there. You know, the Wiccans over there is about a quarter of a mile from my house out there. I'm the guy that put the cross up, put the cross up sideways, representing the broken cross. And you do, you do, I hope that you do, recognize that the cross really don't have nothing to do with our personal salvation. Did you hear what I just said? The cross has something to do with the system because at the time whenever Jesus was crucified on the cross, that was their method towards punishing people that supposedly 
committed a crime worthwhile of dying for. To where we went away from the cross and then we went to the hanging hangsman noose and then we went to the lecture chair and now they use uh, uh, chemicals now to kill somebody. They give them a cocktail that basically takes them out of the world. So the cross really don't have nothing to do with a person's salvation. It's what happened on that cross. It was who was on that cross is what got to do with our salvation. Now, you try to explain that to them people down there called the Wiccans, and they'll snigger and laugh at you. Son, whenever I come into town four or five years ago, everybody and their brother down there was wanting to whip my ass and fight me and, and do this and do that. And they literally drove David off into an early grave. You knew David died, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, they, they drove David off into an early grave. Because of all the all the pressure and and the stress and and stuff on him, and then tried to blame me for his death, <laughs> tried to blame me. That shows you how crazy they are down there. And they was the one that was bringing the fight to us. Tell me that ain't crazy. It's the devil in them, trying to twist it around. That's superstitious so like that. Much, it's so much soap opera, it's unreal. It is, isn't it? If we could put it on camera, oh, we I, would put all the soap opera I do every day. There. I do every day on YouTube. I don't know if you've ever picked up on any of my YouTube work or not, but I put it out there every day. I don't do YouTube. Every day. Right. Yep. Go Good talking to you, Eric. Good luck on your... Uh, Political adventure. <laughs>